Hey guys, welcome to Carry Thoughts. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your Python script to fetch data from VirusTotal via API key provided by them. So before starting the video, let me demonstrate you what we will have at the end of this video. So I will show you uh, via this VirusTotal website that how you are going to search an IP address and how you are going to get an output. So I have this IP address and I paste it over here and it tells me what is the ranking of this IP address and how many engines are responding to it. So I can see 5 out of 97 and Dr. Web, Force Point Threat Seek, all these are telling malicious malware and phishing status for this particular IP address. So let me show you how we will achieve this particular output via our python script so let me just copy the ip once again so this is the code and let me right now show you the output so python.exe my file name i will enter the ip address and then i will enter the api key which i get from the virus total itself so i will also tell you how to get this api key in this video so just paste the api key and boom you have the output uh, the api uh, the ip with the rated of malicious phishing and malware out of uh, five out of 96 engines which are reported by following uh, engines which are dr web ez force mod etc you can also keep this api key in the code itself but i feel much much comfortable doing like this and you can also see the output is same as per the things which we see on web so uh, let me show you how to get the api key which is going to be our first step so uh, first you can go to virustotal.com and you can sign up if you don't have any account over there once you sign up by filling all these details you can log in and that's what i'm going to do once you log in <clears throat> you can hover over the rightmost corner over your id over there you get the api key click over there now this will load and it will give you several details with your api key which is on top left to corner and you can just copy it and keep it saved it is same for most of the time now we are using a free so it has some limitation which is 500 requests per day it may change when you are seeing the video so let's get down with the coding part i'm going to import request and beautiful soup and uh, that that's all let's begin so i'm going to enter my ip address storing it in ip underscore add and then the api key once done with that i am going to extract all the information into the variable r in which i will uh, put on uh, get request uh, with this particular ip address passed to the web address and the api key being entered in the header we will be logging it as a mozilla 5.0 in the dict web we are creating a dictionary which will have particular form of data in which is stored in r uh, this all is fixed so you no need to worry about it you can also read what is r uh, now i am initializing some of the variables you will understand them once we go through the code now let's start now for the uh, I'm going to use a for loop to read all the things one by one from the dictionary. Now, tot engine C will have how many engines have are involved in giving out the answer. If the category is malicious or suspicious, then you have to consider it. If it is there, then you keep on appending the list of result in a result and the engine name. Now this will all the store tot detect C will have total detected uh, engines. Now another list and another loop in order to uh, store how many what are the categories which are being reported like malicious, phishing, etc. 
and I'm using this not so that it go it won't be repeated while storing. So result eng has the res and uh, now if dot detect c is greater than zero, then I'm going to simply write the address and what is the response, what are how many total engines were there, what were the engine names. That's a simple format. Else it was a clean. So uh, guys. This is the entire code. This will help you to see if a particular IP is clean or not. You can check it out. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. Please subscribe to put, um, uh, put up some appreciation for me. And at least hit the like button. Thank you.